Well, we've come up the coast to Te Tapawai or Rangokako Marine Reserve with Brad and I bet on a nice day. This would be beautiful to go for a snorkel and have a picnic and whatnot. Yeah, it's a lovely spot on a nice day. I'm sorry to drag you here on a bad day. <laughs> but this is a, a good spot to talk about the wider applications, all that data that's been gathering. You've seen, you know, how it's getting put together and you've got these really nice, colorful, data sets I suppose it's interpreted into those maps and it's showing information that can help establish places like these marine reserves. Yeah that's right so you get that full 3D model mm. of, of the depths and you can then get that uh, return intensity value that backscatter we call it and if you layer those sort of things together you get a good understanding of what likely habitats look like for, um, for marine life and um, that enables um, departments of conservation and other stakeholders to then sort of make decisions about what, um, what areas of the seabed are worth um, putting into marine reserve and preserving for the future. So it's a good example of the data being used for many things uh, rather than just rocks where boats should avoid and things like that. Yeah, and you were also talking about they can, so you're using the data and, and all those lovely colourful uh, images of different substrates, you know, that benthic kind of area you call it, and then, but also using like underwater cameras, so seeing the fish life as well, and then that, all that data together can create quite clear pictures of what's down there. Yeah, so you can drop a baited underwater video and um, see what fish are there. And if it's got the same characteristics as another area, same depth, same sort of um, aspect and same hardness on the seabed, you can go, oh, OK, there must be the same level of fish there as in that area. And so you can build that model across a whole area and have to drop your baited underwater video every metre or so. You can just use the rest of the data to build that picture. Yeah, what's living there or what could be living there if it was a protected area. So that's just, a, it's great to know that your data's been used for, for other things that's got an environmental, a good environmental impact. Yeah, it's got a great environmental impact and it gives um, DOC a lot of um, good information about where likely marine habitats are around the country and which areas, you know, are worth, um, you know, putting a marine reserve and um, locking in for the future. So, yeah, another, like, like I said, a, a wider application, not just for navigation purposes. It's, it's actually can be really beneficial environmentally, that information. Very beneficial environmentally, especially if you want to um, preserve that marine habitat.